I'm at the old homestead this morning out in the wilderness and I am going to show you how to chop wood and build a fire in my little wood burning stove. So I've got some wood out here and an axe and that is that wood is called lightered and that is the heart of a pine tree. And when the pine tree, when the outside of the pine tree rots, it leaves that heart in, in, uh, still left in it. And we call that lightered. And we chop that up. And that's what we use to start our fires with. So I'm going to chop this piece of lightered up. probably be enough. Let me bring this up, go get some more. All right, we've got our wood to start our fire. Here's my little wood burning stove right here. I tried to get this video arranged where you can see. All right. Got some newspaper right here. And I'm going to take this newspaper Wad it up into wads like this. Just take one sheet at a time. Wad it up, throw it in there. I know some places don't have pine trees. Some areas of the country don't have pine trees. And so you may not be familiar with this lighter, the heart of the pine. You may not have ever heard or seen this before. And I know in those other places where you don't have, have pine trees and you don't have lighter, you have to use other things like I don't know, just uh, wood that's kind of dry and kind of rotted some maybe, I'm not really sure, but this is what we have down here in the south that we use. So I'm going to take these little pieces and lay them on top of the 
paper here. And I'm going to get some of these other pieces and lay up here. And the reason you want to split this lighter is because that the uh, the inside of them it's got that rosin in them and it will it will catch on fire real quick and start your fire up real quick. So you want to expose the inside of the lighter. Trying to get my wood off of the floor here. Okay. Now, let me put some bigger pieces of lighter in here. I want a hot fire today. I want the fire that'll burn hot and fast. Because, and I may have to cut some of this in too. Let's see what I got. Well, I want my fire to burn hot and fast because I'm going to be I'm going to be cooking my breakfast, and so I need this thing to heat up and burn. Let me light it up. Got a trigger lighter here. I'm going to light the paper. And that paper will burn and it'll catch this lighter on fire. All right, there we go. I've got the door right here that goes on it. So we'll leave it open right now. I want it to get some air. Go ahead and catch up and burn. I'm going to cook some sausage in there. I'm going to cook some grits right here. Let me go get some other things I need. water in this little cast iron container. It's a cute little cast iron container. We'll pour about three quarters of a cup of water in here. pan hot. The water's about to boil, so I'm going to put my sausage in the frying pan. This is Link Sausage. This is Conecuh Sausage made in Conecuh County, Alabama. This is the best Link Sausage that you can get right here. Or at least we think so in this area. Okay, put that in there. Let that go to cooking. Put my lid on it. Go 
ahead and stir my grits in. Got two tablespoons of grits to about two thirds cup of water. Let that start cooking. I'll add a little salt to my grits. All right. I'm gonna let that cook for a bit. Okay, yeah, the grits is starting to bubble now. It's good. All right, I tried to get a better angle on this where y'all could see a little more closely what I'm doing. There's the sausage. It is almost ready. Turn it over a little bit more. Let it cook there. Okay, and our grits, it's cooked down thick enough, you can see that, and I'm going to put a piece of sliced cheese in it. This is Velveeta Deli Deluxe. It's the best. Put that in there and let that melt. That's going to have my cheese grits right there. I need to cook my egg. So, let me get this sausage out of this skillet, and then I can cook my egg in the skillet. Oh, y'all, look at this old-timey spatula. Isn't that the neatest thing? Maybe I can show it to you a little more in a minute. Okay, there's my sausage. It's cooked. Now I need to crack that egg and put it in there. And let it cook real quick. As hot as this skillet is, it should only take a minute. Okay, here's my spatula, spatula this old timey spatula. It looks like it's handmade. And I'm not going to put any seasoning on my egg when I eat it with grits and eggs. I just like to eat it without any seasoning. And the way that people, the popular way to eat <clears throat> grits and eggs here in the South is to cook your egg, have a soft fried egg, and put it on your plate, and then put the grits over the top of it and bust that egg and stir it all up. But I don't like soft fried eggs, so I just have to fry me a hard fried egg and have the yellow busted and cooked hard and then eat that with my eat that with my grits okay our grits is ready our sausage is ready let's see if i can get this egg ready all right we're fixing to have us a good breakfast the old-fashioned way. <laughs> there we go. That's ready. Okay. Let me put that on the plate. Right there. Let's get this off of the stove and let it start cooling down. We'll set it right down here. Let me put my grits on my plate. I know you can't see what I'm doing right now. I'll show it to you once I get it scraped out here on my plate. Set down here and let it cool down as well. All right, here is my food right here. This is my breakfast. This is a good Southern breakfast. <laughs> and I don't have any bread with it or anything, but I'm not big on bread anyway. So usually I don't eat bread. Now I've got this little 
wood burning cook stove here. And I like to use it and cook on it and just burn wood in it when it's cold weather. What I really like is I really like to get one of the wood burning cook stoves like they actually had in their homes and it had, it's got the burners on top, it's got a reservoir for water on the side, it's got an oven down bottom and then up top it's got a, a place, it's called the warmer and once you cook your food you can slide it up in that warmer and keep it warm. That's what I'd really like to have and I found some at different antique stores but they were just more than I wanted to pay so you know maybe one day I'll run across one. All right, I hope y'all have a good day. Hope y'all have something good to eat. Y'all come back to see me real soon.